The military agreement, signed by the heads of staff of the two countries, allows for the temporary deployment of up to 36 Qatari military aircraft and up to 250 personnel to Turkey? We can say that one of the reasons for the agreement between Turkey and Qatar is that Qatar will bring and deploy these Rafale aircraft, which were purchased from France, to Turkey, explained Gulu Stan MP Kili's Kazi agent while commenting on the terms of the agreement. Under discussion at the Foreign Affairs Committee, Turkish Air Force will train with French-made Qatar Lasso Rafale jets against the Greek military, which has upgraded its Air Force capabilities with Rafale fighters recently acquired from its ally France, Nordic Monitor has learned. According to documents obtained from Turkey's Parliamentary Committee, one of the reasons for Turkey's push to reach a military training deal with Qatar was to familiarize its air force with the capabilities of the Rafale fighter jet in an effort to deal with the perceived threat by the Greek air force. In the Aegean and Mediterranean seas, Greece is taking a position to challenge us both in the eastern Mediterranean and on our borders by buying Rafale jets from France, he added. Kaziagic urged a diplomatic approach to resolving differences rather than entering into military deals with other countries, including Qatar. Ahmet Nalavikos, a lawmaker from the main opposition Republican People's Party CHP, and a former ambassador, praised the agreement describing it as a smart move by the Turkish military. Our Air Force supplies, of fighter jets, differ from one another. Of course. No one knows this better than the Ministry of Defense. That's why I feel the extraordinary intelligence displayed by the officers here, commented Avikos. He said it was clear that the agreement would allow the Turkish Air Force to develop combat capabilities against the French Greek jets in the event of a future conflict. So we will not bring the French aircraft that Qatar uses into our territory and train the pilots. But we will receive training. The intelligent mind behind this should be applauded. I'm very happy with this, he said. It is not clear how this will happen and what are the terms of the sales agreement between Qatar and France regarding the deployment of Rafale jets to third countries and the training of pilots from those countries. It is possible that Qatar needs approval from France. The agreement requires one Turkish pilot to be present on each Qatar plane. In a similar case in 2017, the US rejected a Turkish proposal to use Pakistani pilots to train Turkish pilots in F-16 fighter jets following a government purge of 680 of the 1,350 pilots in the Turkish Air Force, leading to a huge fighter shortage. Although Turkey and France are NATO allies, the two countries have diverged on a number of foreign policy issues in recent years. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan criticized French President Emmanuel Macron on many occasions and insulted him viciously. In October 2020, he publicly said Macron needed mental treatment, and two months later he told Macron to hand over the port city of Marseille to the Armenians if they loved Armenians so much. The Turkey-Qatar agreement states that if there is a request from Turkey, Qatari aircraft will be able to carry Turkish ammunition, personnel and humanitarian aid inside and outside Turkey, indicating that the agreement is not limited to training. The agreement will remain in effect for five years and will be automatically renewed for a period of one consecutive year unless either party notifies the other party of its intention to withdraw. The Qatari Air Force currently has a fleet of French-made Mirage 2000 and Rafale aircraft, 
and has also ordered 36 F-15s from the U.S. Qatar also signed a similar pilot training agreement with Italy in November 2020, which stated its intention to purchase the Leonardo T-346 trainer jet widely used by the Italian Air Force. Turkey since 2017 has a military base with about 3,000 troops in Qatar led by the Qatar-Turkey Joint Forces Command, established in 2015. In addition, Turkey and Qatar signed a security protocol for the deployment of Turkish police units during the FIFA World Cup which will be held in November to December 2022. Saudi Arabia Egypt and the United Arab Emirates have repeatedly demanded that Qatar close the Turkish base, which they claim threatens stability in the region.